Duck Pin Bowling. Friends, today in our sports encyclopedia series, we'll talk about duck pin bowling. So let's begin. Duck pin bowling is a modified variant of regular bowling that involves 10 pins. It's believed that the game began in Baltimore around 1900. The basic objective of duck pin bowling is to score more than your opponents. How to participate in duck pin bowling? Duck pin bowling is an individual sport where players compete against each other. Unlike regular bowling, the balls used in this type of bowling are four and three quarter inches to five inches in diameter. Although the balls are smaller than the ones used in 10 pin bowling, the balls are larger and heavier than the ones used in candle pin bowling. At the beginning of the game, the frame is arranged in a triangle manner, just like in 10 pin bowling, but it is smaller and lighter, which makes it very difficult to strike. In duck pin bowling, the participants are allowed three rolls per frame, which are different from 10 pin bowling, in which two rolls per frame are given. The strike is given if the participants knock down the balls in the first frame. Spare is given if the balls are knocked down in the second throw of the frame. And 10 points are awarded if the player knocks down and out all of the pins in the third frame. The final score of the bowler is determined by the sum of the three points earned over 10 frame throws. If a player gets a spare or a strike in the 10th frame, they earn one or two rolls, respectively. A player can score a maximum of 300 points, which is accomplished by rolling 12 strikes in a row. How to win in duck pin bowling? After all the players have completed their frame, the player with the maximum score is declared as the winner. Friends, this is just an overview of the game, but if you'd like to know more about the rules of duck pin bowling, comment down below. Stay tuned to learn about more interesting games. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.